Hello friends. In today's video, we will talk about a package named Moveit. Moveit is a great motion planning package. It is actually used by more than 150 robots. Also, Moveit is used by pioneer companies in robotics field like Google, Microsoft, Fedge, even NASA uses Moveit. Moveit has a great integration with ROS as well. So, If you want to be a great robotics engineer, you need to know about this package as motion planning is an integral part of a robot. So let's get started. So in today's video, we will first give you a glimpse of how to install Moveit. So you see here there are instructions to make the Catkin package and download the code and finally Catkin make the Moveit package. So This link will be given in the description so you must go through all the steps finally when you are done with these steps you should have a package named ws_moveit and it should be catkin made after which we will use moveit with rviz for basic understanding so in today's video we will go through a demo launch file in panda moveit config so i will copy this launch file this launch file command is also given in the description and i paste it here and i run it oops i did not source it when i run the command it should spawn an arviz world you can see the arviz world here you need to click on add and these are moveit visualization tools which are created by moveit people for arviz so we will select the moveit planner and hit on okay so once it gets configured you should see this panda robot so now here let's explore the motion planning tab there are options of planning request you have planning matrix and planned path so first of all let's go to planning request and let's do planning group as removing from hand to panda arm so when we do this we see an interactive tool here so if i zoom out this is an interactive tool if i move it you see the start location of robot is changing i can move it wherever i want also we can see the workspace here so robot cannot go outside this configuration space so if i try to take robot outside it will not let me go you see here in this direction as well this is the max limit so we need to make sure that when we are planning our plan should be inside the configuration space i'll close the work space for now and some of you will ask that okay i can change my goal location but what about my start location in planning request if i hit query start state it will give me one more robot and i can move this robot as well on the other hand even if you want to move the end effector you can also rotate your end effector as expected so this is a method by which you set up a start location and an end location you can also do this with code so we can also see moving joints in null space so if i go to joints and let's try changing the goal location so if i click on the robot and if i change this you see robot end point is not changing but its body is changing this is because the robot has 7 degrees of freedom and that is why many configuration will lead you to the same location so now let's plan a path so if i go back to planning and if i plan the path you see robot goes from start to end location and it reaches the goal also 
if you want to see intermediate steps and want to see how the robot is planning the path you can go to panels and you can do motion planning slider so you see here you can see any intermediate step which you want to see in the robot and if you want to play i can play it again and it will reach the goal so this is how you can use the motion planning slider also if you want to know that what all states the robot is taking you can go to plant path and you can do show trail so when i plan it will show us a trail of how the robot is moving and reaching the goal so this helps you in a way that if you have an obstacle in this way then you know that your robot is going to collide the obstacle on the other hand if you are if you are following a cartesian path you can do use cartesian and try to plan so in this case it plans in cartesian path of x y z so you see it took a straight path rather than a curvy path this is required in some applications and finally if you want to change velocity scale or acceleration scale to make it faster or slower you can make it so now the velocity scale is 0.1 and you see the robot moving now if i make it faster as 0.6 so it will make a smoother path and it will go faster so this was all about how you can use and play with move it for your initial introduction you can go ahead and check out all different options if you have any doubts do comment and if you like this video do share it with your friends and subscribe to soft illusion thank you